Hello everyone, I'm John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Riders Report. Now, very recently we've had a, a bombing attack of sorts at the Yoksuni Shrine. It's a very controversial shrine, given the fact that it holds, um, what honors Class A war criminals from the Imperialist Japan days. And now this temple has come under attack, a, a bomb. Uh, went off inside a bathroom at the temple, or well, the shrine, excuse me. Now, it was a very small bomb, not a very large one. It was very basic and not very complex. Uh, basically, anyone could have built this bomb and detonated it. The actual damage that it did was very marginal. It basically put a hole in the ceiling of the bathroom. No injuries were reported whatsoever. And police, as of right now, don't know what type of attack this was, what, would, what motivated the attack, uh, or even any suspects. They're still investigating this. But one thing I do want to point out is that it does seem highly unlikely that this type of attack was carried out by any type of, any type of uh, Islamic extremist terrorist group. Considering the fact this is Yaksuni Shrine, does not seem to be a type of target that these type of terror groups would focus on. The size of the bomb really doesn't seem to be something they would do. Normally they go for something much larger. If they're going to attack you, they're going to really, really attack you. So who could have possibly done this? Well, it's very difficult to speculate. But a couple of groups that could possibly be behind this. Now it could be a underground leftist group here in Japan because the temple is very controversial and it does um, promote fascist Japan in many ways as a symbol of that but I don't know how likely that is considering that um, more radical leftist groups have not gotten that violent in quite a number of years so there's another group it could be it could be outside influence. Now, Yaksuni Shrine, due to it, does honor Class A war criminals from the days of Imperialist Japan, angers extremely many of Japan's Asian neighbors. Now, this could have been someone who finally had enough and could be from one of those countries and decided to take action on their own. But it could have been something more organized, which, if it's going to be more organized, by an institution that funded or supported by any government in Asia. I'm sure it would have been bigger than this. So most likely, I'm just guessing here, I don't know, but if it was one of these other countries, the size of the bomb, how simple it was, probably one individual acting on their own. Now another option which I don't, again, I don't know how likely this could be either. Could have been organized crime. Not that they were attacking the Yakshuni Shrine itself. They could have been attacking each other. There is currently a Yakuza war going on. And very recently, the first signs of it being becoming violent have shown itself as a Yakuza leader was recently assassinated. So this could have been another hit. But then again, we really don't know. Like I said, as of now, there's not a lot of information going on about it. I just thought I'd get some thoughts of what it could possibly be. And again, the size of this bomb is really small. No one was hurt. So, to be something large, organized group behind it appears to be unlikely, but I could be wrong. But I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comment box below. Uh, do you think one of these groups would possibly be behind it? Do you think it was a larger organized effort? Or do you or do you also think that the Japanese government will use this to further push the militarization of Japan and get Japan more actively involved militarily in the world? So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.